But the Romans had a particular aspect of adoption that I want you to hear this morning and understand that that's how God sees you and I. And when we approach Him in prayer, we should approach Him from the standpoint of being fully adopted. And so what did the Romans, uh, how did they, they uh, the, how, what was their adoption law? Well, first of all, the Romans believed that if you had a child biologically, that you could actually reject the child because it was something that you didn't really, obviously they did participate in it, but they, they didn't know what they were getting. They didn't know if they're getting a boy or a girl. It could have genetic defects, could be fine, could have, you know, red hair or blonde hair or blue hair or green hair. No, they don't come out that way. They, 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 they get changed later. But the fact is that you didn't know what you were getting, and so the parents could actually reject a biological child. But in adoption, Roman law said that when the child is adopted, that three things took place. Number one, the, that child that was adopted was fully chosen by the parents. Fully chosen. They knew exactly what they were getting. Second of all, that that child from the parents was fully desired. Not fully chosen, fully desired. And Roman law said that once that child was adopted into that family, the parents could never reject the child. Never reject the child. The parents. Now, the child can walk away from the parents. The, the child can reject the parents just like the prodigal son did. But the father could never reject the child. And so I want you to understand that when we start to pray to God the Father, we need to pray with that mindset that we have been fully uh, uh, chosen, fully desired, and cannot be rejected from the Father. That should be the perspective that we come and pray to God with. The question is, do you have that? Do you have that perspective of yourself that you've been fully adopted? The other aspect is that when that child was adopted, they immediately, when they came into that family, they had full access Full inheritance. It wasn't when the parents died. They had it as soon as they came into the family. They had, I think what I wrote there, they had new blood, they had new birth date, they had new name, and they had new access. All of that was available. Not when the parent died, immediately when they were adopted. Again, you and I, do we approach God the Father with that perspective in mind? I'm fully adopted. I'm fully desired. I'm fully loved. I cannot be rejected by my Heavenly Father.